Well, it's just another day where the men who think they're women are taken over. That was my impression, my Scottish impression. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it sucked. But for those of y'all out there who think this isn't happening, here's another story for you where a guy who thinks he's a chick in high school are making other girls feel uncomfortable. And I got this video from um, Officer Tatum, who I enjoy watching quite a bit. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm a student at Martin Luther King High School, and I run on the cross-country team. So I'm constantly affected by these actions that have taken place this season. And I have been around the females and just my team in general who have felt almost silenced to speak out about it because the whole LGBTQ is shoved down our throat, it is put in our face, and we live in a society where it is almost impossible to speak out on it. And I think this is absolutely disgusting. As an L in the community, I think it's gross. I think that the LGBTQ before were upset that Christians were forcing their beliefs on us. Now it's the opposite. Now the LGBTQ is forcing their garbage on everyone else. And I don't think that's right at all. Everyone should just live and let live. Why are you forcing it? Because of bigotry? It makes no sense. There's no bigotry if you don't want to play these mental mind games and go along with this gender ideology, which I believe is kind of a religion, kind of culty. It's just a control mechanism in order to, to get people to do what you want, to think the way that you want. I think it's gross. I think we should stop this absolutely. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Without facing the repercussions of it. And I went myself to have a discussion with the head of, or the athletic director when nobody really felt comfortable enough to speak out. And I don't think it's fair knowing Caitlin and knowing Taylor to see their spots getting taken away, to see all these things being jeopardized for one person. It feels as though that my school and the school district is choosing to support one person instead of the whole team and the whole school as a total. Like, it, it's not fair. It's not okay. I don't, I try my best not to put personal beliefs into it, but seeing this firsthandedly, seeing my teammates getting their spots taken for one person that's choosing to be a girl, it's not okay. I, I it's not okay because this guy is, his personal belief is that he's a woman, but the other girls in the school district shouldn't be like, oh, I'm just going to go along with your belief system because if I don't, it's bigotry, even though it's misogyny. Like, it's it's the peak of misogyny because you're allowing a guy to invade women's spaces, their sports, their locker rooms, their bathrooms, and you're allowing them to get away with it while majority of women and girls around this guy <clears throat> don't agree with this ideology, don't agree with him being a woman because they see him as a guy because he's a guy and they don't agree with him taking spaces away and spots away from biological girls. I mean, how is that not the peak of misogyny? This guy says he's a girl. He grows his hair out long. He what takes hormones or whatever. It, it still doesn't make him a girl. It puts him on a way higher playing field than the girls who he's playing with. And it's wrong. You're literally handing away spots for girls to this guy because of his belief system. Imagine if he was a Christian, okay? Would the school district be like, oh, yeah, it's totally cool that you want to preach the Bible, um, you know, during intermission at the, the, let's say, soccer game? That's totally cool. We support you. And anyone who doesn't support him, well, you're a bigot. It, somewhat like that. It's, it's probably a bad... Uh, analogy, but what I'm trying to get at is that these, this belief system shouldn't be forced on other people, shouldn't be forced on all these girls. And if this guy was just a regular guy, people would have a problem with it. But because his belief system is that he thinks he's a girl and everyone, you know, everyone who's in charge says that if you don't believe in it, you're a bigot. It's just doing such a disservice to everyone else because you're enforcing these radical beliefs on girls. You're forcing them to be uncomfortable. You're forcing them to step aside, step back, shut up. I mean, what happened to me too, right? Believe all women. Aren't we supposed to listen to little girls? Aren't we supposed to be listening to women? But no, not if the guy 
who's being a jerk says he's a woman, then we have to tell women to shut up? Like, that's the loophole. And all these people who are like, yeah, me too, believe all women, you know, I was assaulted and stuff, that's cool. But if the guy who is making you feel uncomfortable and is looking at you in the changing room says he's a woman, then you're the bigot. But if he's not wearing the dress, then you're not the bigot, and he's in the wrong. So the loophole for all these creepy guys out there is grow your hair out long, say you're a woman, put on a dress, or just put on lipstick. You don't even have to really try. You don't even have to shave your beard. And uh, you're good to go. You could take over women's spaces. You could take over and, you know, kick someone out so you could take their spot in a sport. Hey, it's all good. Totally f***ed up. Totally f***ed up. The people that support this, I hope they get their comeuppance. Because <laughs> I'm going to say this. The amount of documentaries that are, that are going to come out about this is going to put me too in the dust. It's not okay. I've done my research. I've looked into the CIF rules and I've looked into the NCAA rules, two completely different things. And when I went into this meeting with the athletic director, I knew that. I knew that going into it, that teachers and coaches and people in the office can't speak on personal opinion. And then to see the athletic director turn around and tell my teammates that their shirts that say save girls sports be compared to a swastika, that is not okay. These girls feel silenced. They felt this, this is That is not okay. Hashtag me too. They could wear a hashtag me too shirt in school, but they can't say save women's, they can't wear a shirt that says save women's sports because that's bigotry. It's bigotry because you're offending a guy because let's just put it out there what it is. That's just a guy who's either mentally ill or he's a narcissist. Might, maybe both. So you're telling the girls to shut up and that their their beliefs that they stand on is bigotry because you hurt the feelings of this guy. And are, are, are they even really hurting the feelings of this guy or is he just saying that so he can get on top? Because, you know, if a guy sucks at sports, all he has to do in order to, to get one over on women is to say he's a girl and everyone bows down to him. So you're allowing, you, like the left especially, they're like, uh, you know, men are this and men are that and they hate men unless the man says he's a girl. And then all those women can shut up. Do you see how, how hypocritical this is? How, how so fucking twisted it is? It's so fucking messed up. Like, man, I, I can't wait for the documentaries to come out on this. But I'm also very sad that documentaries will come out on this because there is going to be an, an uprising of women who have been abused, assaulted, uh, sexually harassed by these guys who say they're women. And they're going to finally be able to speak out. Unfortunately, by that time, there's going to be so many more victims of this. So many more victims of getting kicked out of their spots, losing opportunities, losing money to these guys. It's going to be tragic. And who's going to be held accountable? Well, how many people who knew uh, Epstein were held accountable? Feel silenced. They felt silenced. And when they finally spoke out and did something to go against it and speak out, not directed towards a single person at all, they were completely stabbed in the back by the person that, was, that we were told would support us and be able to help us through this. They were said that it, it was a hate crime, that they were targeting that one person. And that is not the case. No, no, it's called misogyny. It's called uh, an, uh, a jerk treating other women like their feelings don't matter and that his feelings trump their feelings. And um, when they go to ask for help, they get totally stomped on because the guy says he's a girl. It's absolutely insane how a guy could just say he's a girl and he can get all these opportunities and just totally shit on all women and get away with it because it's cool. Because if... If they don't allow him to shit on women, well, then it's just bigotry, right? But what, what is bigotry anymore? Bigotry is saying, protect all women. <laughs> Biological women, might I add. Biological. Or protect women's sports. XX. That's bigotry. So it's bigotry to have a women's movement, a women's rights movement that doesn't include biological men. Tell me. Tell me you're not like, what the is going on because because to me i'm like what the fuck is going on and that is not the case at all taylor and caitlin are the, two of the most nice people i've ever met in my life and to see them having to be told that they're being hateful people is not okay and it is not okay that i have to 
be in a position where I'm going to practice and having to see a male in booty shorts and having to see that around me. As a 16-year-old girl, I don't, I don't find that as a safe environment. I don't at all. And going into okay, and you'll hear, you'll hear the people on the left be like, oh, well, he's just wearing booty shorts. It's just balls that are hanging out. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, what, when was me too? Let's say, let's say, uh, I don't know. I'm guessing. It's seven years ago. Seven years ago would be a problem, right? But no, no, no. He says he's a girl and you're the bigot. Damn, you 16-year-old girl, there's something wrong with you for not wanting to see his ball sack hanging out of his booty shorts. You're the problem. Do you see how <laughs> dope that sounds? But these people would rather protect the one mentally ill or narcissistic or both guy who says he's a woman over these girls who feel really fucking uncomfortable. Why is their uncomfort? Why is their feelings? Why, why is that not important? Why do women and girls have to bear the brunt? I'm talking majority brunt of this shit. And why are so many people okay with it? Because you'll hurt one person's feelings while saying fuck you and your feelings and your safety and comfort to all the women. Like, Dude, we need to turn around real bad because I'm getting sick of seeing victims. I'm so sick of it. Over men. Over men! <laughs> when the left says, fuck men. <laughs> oh, but if the guy says he's a woman, then, well, then support all women, right? <laughs> wow, it's a fucking fucked up world, people. I don't at all. And going into a um, locker room and seeing males in there, I don't find that safe. I don't find going to the bathroom safe when there's guys in there. It's not okay. It's not okay because you see, guys, guys out there, listen, when girls go to the bathroom, they have to pull their pants down, okay? Now the bathrooms, the partitions are high off the floor, right? So there's been a lot of stories where creepy guys will go in there and they'll put their phone underneath the partition and start filming the girls. Cause guys are fucking weird. They're fucking weird. They're sick. Not all of them, but there's a, there's, there's a, unfortunately, a, a good portion of them that are like that. But see now, because he could just say he's a woman, he can actually do that and get away with it. Because now the person who's in charge has to be like, oh, sh well, well, if I punish the, the, the trans woman, well, I'm going to get canceled, even though he was doing something creepy. But the, the woman was violated. But is she violated if, if a woman is doing it? To, you see how it gets all f***ed up? Not to me, but this is what these crazy people think. And so the crazy people will say, oh, well, you know, it is a woman. You know, maybe it was just, oops, maybe sure her phone fell. You know, you're giving all these excuses to this predator instead of protecting the victim and instead of listening to the victim. And you wonder why the amount of sexual harassment that happens and sexual assaults that happen are underreported vastly underreported. Why don't you go online? Don't go on Google because Google sucks. Uh, and look up how many sexual assaults and sexual harassment cases and instances go uh, unreported because it is way more than actually reported. Way more. I'm going to guess 16%. Let's say, let's say even like 40%, and I know that's not true, but let's say 40% of cases are, uh, are are reported and 60% aren't reported. Well, how many do you think are reported now that women are being told to shut up because the guy says he's a chick? A lot. But don't take my word for it. Why don't you ask a woman in your life if she's ever been sexually harassed before? Because guys who sexually harass, they see the loophole. They know the loophole because they're looking for the loophole. And now they have an in to do whatever creepy sh they want. And they'll be able to get away with it because, well, if you talk against it, you're a bigot. Because the creepy guy who did something creepy says he's a woman. You're, you're the bigot. Because, you know, these trans women, they can get away with pretty much anything nowadays. I'm a 16-year-old girl. There's girls around me where we do not feel safe having boys in our environment. And it isn't okay. It isn't okay to have them on our team. It isn't okay when it's going. It's the genetics. It is not okay. You go, girl. Maybe that's her daddy. Well, and that's that, man. And I'm proud of this girl. Good for her. We need more, more girls speaking out. Unfortunately, women don't have the uh, the balls to to do that. And it's not because they're weak. It's because they've been told to shut up. And women are naturally more submissive. 
So that's why not a lot of women are coming out. But if women start coming out in droves, hi, Remy. <laughs> if women start coming out in droves, it'll give courage to more women to come out and more girls to come out and speak out against this. And if more girls and more women come out and speak out against this, we can shut this shit down. Make sure to like and subscribe, join our memberships, support this channel. We'd really appreciate it. And so would Remy. And we're here to support girls. We're here to support biological females, their sports, their spaces. We want to make them feel comfortable. We want to make them feel safe in their spaces. And we can't do this with this trans ideology and the gender ideology that's continuing to run rampant across this country. So like and subscribe, join our memberships. Have a good day. And speak out for women. Biological.